Hello everybody, Stark here, and since The Suicide Squad is coming out next weekend, and since all these people have been suggesting this for a very long time, I thought it would probably be a good time to make some custom minifigures based on the movie. Let's get started. First up is Harley Quinn. Her hair is Supergirl's. That head is the 2016 Harley Quinn head. The torso and hip pieces are from the Lego Batman movie. The arms are the Incredibles with white hands. And then the legs are the standard Harley Quinn legs. And then I gave her an older Star Wars blaster piece. Next up is Bloodsport. His hair is Finn's. His head is B. Abrox's from the A-Team. The torso is Taskmaster's with orange arms. The legs are an ACU Troopers from Jurassic World. And then he's using Star-Lord's blasters. Here is Peacemaker. His helmet is Ultron's. His head is from Legolas. That torso is Falcon's with Beach Robin's arms from the second Lego Batman movie CMF series. And I did replace the hands with blue ones as well. His legs are the Sushi Chefs with First Order Trooper hips. And then he's using a small light bluish gray gun. Next up is Rick Flagg. His hair is Tony Stark's. His head is Owen Grady's from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. His torso is Tweety Bird's with the Trickster's arms and tan hands. His legs are a foot soldier's from TMNT, and then he's holding a rifle piece. Next up is Captain Boomerang. His hat is the Snowboarders. That head is from the Gotham City Police Blister Pack. His torso is Harry Potter's with black hands to represent his gloves, and then his legs are Newt Scamander's, and of course, he's holding a boomerang piece. Here is Mongol. Her hair is Mary Jane's. Her head is Ahsoka's. The torso and hip pieces are from Rescue. And then she's using orange arms with purple hands. Her legs are the aliens from Video. And then she's using two gold sword pieces. Next up is Weasel. He's using a face from Chima. And then the rest of him is Scratchy from The Simpsons. But I did replace the hands with light bluish gray hands. And I gave him a bone piece as an accessory. Here is Ratcatcher 2. Her hair is the Black Widow hair in black. Her head is Cordy Freemakers. Her torso is Mantises with dark brown arms and nougat hands. And then her legs are Tariels from The Hobbit. I also gave her a bag piece and a rat piece. Here is Polka Dot Man. He's basically just the Polka Dot Man minifigure from the Lego Batman movie, and I gave him Credence's head from the first Harry Potter CMF series. And then he also has dark tan goggles on top of the helmet. And lastly here is King Shark, who I have made before, but that was more of an Urkverse version of the character. He's using the Series 15 shark piece. Underneath it is a skull piece, which is supposed to look like he's snacking on a skull. His torso is the Genies from the first Disney CMF series with plain medium blue arms and hands. And then his legs are the Arkham Asylum legs from the Lego Batman movie. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make in the future, please let me know down below, and I'll give you a shout-out if I use your idea. Anyway, come back Monday for my next Bad Batch video. See you then.